Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about PTM7950, which is a type of phase change thermal paste. And I've covered it before. I put it on a Steam Deck and showed a pretty decent improvement in performance. Uh, it's a Honeywell product, tends to come in packages like this. Uh, you wanna source it carefully because there are some supposed you know, fakes out there. But uh, if you source this, it does work quite effectively. And I think I have pretty conclusive results to show you that shows it does work and it does work quite well. Um, and the reason I have that is because I applied uh, PTM7950 to this, the Azembic Pro 14 OLED, and I took three sets of data. The first set of data was stock. The second set of data was right when I turned the machine on after putting PTM7950, which is really cool because you can actually see the paste in real time settle in. I'll show you that graph in a second. And the third test was after uh, three or four heating and cooling cycles uh, to show you uh, what it looked like. And the reason I think these results are pretty definitive is the fact that you can see that the watts used on the GPU is the exact same in all of these tests. So it's a it's a pretty definitive uh, view of whether PTM7950 can cool uh, better than a traditional thermal paste. So let's go ahead and get into that data. Okay, so this red line is stock so this was the test i took uh testing you know how hot the gpu temperature would get over time when it was on full cpu and gpu load and you can see that i start my load test and as time goes along this first graph is watts that the gpu is using the second set of graphs is the gpu temperature so we can see the temperature rising and kind of leveling off towards the end of the test. This is a five minute test. And you can also see uh, this down here is just the core clocks. We should probably change that to the GPU core clocks. Let's do that right now. There we go. And now let's add in what happened the second I, I repasted it with PTM7950 and uh, did the exact same test. And that's the green line now. And what you can see is the same is the power graph, which basically went up to 85 watts and hung out there. Uh, and you can see it using the exact same power. And you can see it's using pretty close to the same clock speed. But look, look at our temps here. And here's why this is super interesting. You can see that we're actually hotter when we first turn on the, the laptop after putting the PTM7950 on. And then you can see it actually levels out and the pace is literally melting right in this section. And you can see over time, it actually ends up being a lower temperature. And that's just the first run after having installed it. So that's, I mean, that's really cool to see that happening like in real time, like the paste obviously is heated up quicker, got hot and then melted, filled in the gaps and actually became cooler than the traditional stock paste over time. And the third set, which is gonna be the blue line, you can now see, and the only reason I'm showing the first graph and the third graph is to show you that I'm using the exact same watts and clock speed, and the only thing that's changing is the temperature, so it's a pretty good test. So now if we look at all three of these in a row, and I'm gonna turn off, uh, well, let's look at them all together for a second here. Um, you can see the red line, which was the original run. And then this, the green line, which was the run right after installing, you can see it got hotter and then leveled off. And then the blue line after it been through heat and cooling uh, repay sessions, you can see it was the coolest one overall. There we go. Um, the blue line, which is PTM 7950 after it settled in was definitely the lowest one, but the green line is the coolest one because it shows you fresh install getting hot and then melting, getting cool, and then evening off. And you can see it's a valid result because the blue and the green line end up at the end of this showing the exact same performance. So the same test should be the exact same performance. So the end of this green line is the same thing as the blue line, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. But in my mind, this is pretty definitive evidence that uh, not only does PTM7950 work better than stock paste, but if you look at the GPU temp, you can see it got to about 82, okay, 80, 80 
84.9 degrees versus 84. So several degrees cooler. And you can see it doesn't seem like it's still rising. The red line, which is the stock pace, seems like it is still floating upwards a little bit. It may have eventually throttled where the PTM 7150 looks like it's not gonna reach a, a level of temperature that it would actually be throttled. So anyways, that's just a quick look. I just wanted to throw that out there. Uh, if you don't want to liquid metal your machine, PTM 7950, although I didn't compare directly to liquid metal, other people have, but I just wanted to show that, yes, this stuff does work and it does cool better than conventional pace. And you can see the phase change process happening in real time after you first apply it, which is pretty cool. So thanks for watching, quick video, and we'll see you on the next ones.